In this video, we're going to be going over the device menu. So after you've loaded your jobs and you're ready to connect to the instrument, you're going to click on device. And right now, your only option is to basically hit um, connect to try to connect to, a, uh, to the RTS unit. If you do have a different unit, uh, for example, the RPT or the GNSS, you can click on these icons here and connect through them that way. Uh, since we have an RTS, we're going to connect to uh, connect to that. So I have it selected. Uh, make sure that the channel and network ID match uh, to what you have on the uh, on the robot itself. It'll display that on the LCD screen. Um, you do have to make sure that these are unique to the robot. So if you, there's more than one robot on the job site, um, just make sure that there's not two robots that both have channel 15 and 255. You do have 30 channels no and 255 network IDs you can choose from. Um, once it's connected, it will automatically take you to the settings where you can set the temperature. Um, basically, you just want to set the amb ambient temperature that you're, you're currently working in. Uh, and for the pressure, the robot has an internal pressure sensor that it detects the barometric pressure. Uh, down here, it displays uh, the current level of the unit. Um, and right now, basically, this is the input form button that actually takes you into the settings. So to get back in here by going to device, you click device click on settings and uh, basically takes you here. Um, there's some more options here that appear here, which we'll go uh, over in, uh, in different videos. Um, but one thing that we will jump to is the uh, uh, prism settings. So up at the top, uh, we have the uh, prism settings icon. Uh, when we select it, um, we have different prisms that we can choose from. Uh, so there's target type down here. You can select and you can choose a different prism. Uh, the most widely ones used is the 360 prism, as well as the MT-1000. Uh, the MT-1000 is an active prism, and what that means is you can set it to an active mode where the robot will only track the MT-1000 prism, and it won't um, basically lock onto anything that's anything other that's reflective. For example, like a uh, uh, like a vest, um, like a reflective vest, or a um, just pretty much anything walking by that, that has a reflective that will catch the robot. Um, so what you do is on the prism itself, there is a knob that you turn to set it to an RMT ID. Um, so once you set that ID, just make sure you match it up here um, and it will only track that prism. If the battery in the prism dies, you will need to switch this back to passive mode so that the robot will be able uh, to basically track the prism um, since the prism is no longer sending out an active signal. And at the top here, we also had a, have a rod height that you'd set. Uh, so basically, if you have the MT-1000 uh, on the layout rod, uh, just read out whatever is on that layout rod and set it to, this, uh, to the height. Uh, normally, uh, it's, it's around 6 to, to 8 feet is what uh, people usually set this to. Uh, but it depends on what you have your rod set up as.